Good afternoon. Today's lecture is about different languages spoken in the United States. The Modern Language Association has put together data on the numbers of speakers and the locations of the 30 most commonly spoken languages in the United States. Let me first explain how the information was gathered. The data came from U.S. Census information. In addition to the usual census questions about number of family members and age, people were asked about language. If a language other than English was spoken at home. If the answer was yes, then the person was asked to name the language. You might be surprised at how many different languages were reported. 300. Yes, 300 different languages are spoken in the United States. The Modern Language Association focuses on the 30 most common languages. Of course, English is the number one language. Um, Spanish is the second most common. Uh, Chinese is the third. And French is the fourth. Now, the Modern Language Association has put all this information together in different ways. So, for example, you can look up a particular language, let's say uh, Korean, and see how many speakers there are throughout the United States. There are almost 900,000 Korean speakers in the United States. Then you can see how that compares to the total number of speakers of languages other than English. So, of the people who speak another language, 2% are Korean speakers. It's also possible to see how many Korean speakers there are in different areas. Two main areas of concentration are Southern California and Washington State. Now, another way you can look at the information is by starting with place. The entire United States, a state, a county, or a city. So, um, for example, Looking at the state of Texas, in Texas, English is spoken at home by just over 68% of people. Of the people who speak another language, 86% speak Spanish, and it's only 1 or 2% for any of the other languages. So, Spanish really is the predominant language other than English in Texas. Now, you can then compare that information to other states. For example, looking at the state of New York. In New York, a little over 72% of people speak English at home. Of the speakers of other languages, 49% speak Spanish, and then 8% speak Chinese, 6% speak Italian, and 4% uh, speak Russian, and 4% speak French. So you can see that there are a lot of Spanish speakers in New York, but there are also other languages spoken, more so than in Texas. Okay, so there are different ways to look at this data. Let's talk about possible ways this information could be used or why it's important. I'd like to open this up for discussion. Do you have any ideas? Yes, in the front row. Um, I think this could be important for educational purposes, you know, so people know what kinds of classes might be needed in the schools and things like that. And um, I think it's also important to understand the cultural makeup of the United States. Yes, definitely. Anyone else? Yes? Isn't it also important to be aware of possible language change? You know, if one language is being used less or more over time? Yes, absolutely. Okay, we're out of time, but we're going to talk about language change next week. So, we'll discuss it more then.